Tandai Passion Ndoro is a Zimbabwean professional footballer and his preferred playing position is as a forward or a striker for all you guys that are old school. Hello and welcome to Red Live. Ndoro started his senior professional playing career in 2011 playing for Chicken Inn in Zimbabwe. Yes, that is actually a real team Chicken Inn in Zimbabwe and it plays in the top division of Zimbabwean football currently. He was at Chicken Inn from 2011 to 2013. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any of his appearance numbers or his goals during that time. In 2013, he completed a move to South African club Black Aces, but he was immediately returned out on loan to Chicken Inn for the rest of 2013 season. In the 2014 season, he officially joined Black Aces and was part of the squad. He made 41 appearances for Black Aces and during that time scored 14 goals. After his impressive two seasons at Black Aces, Orlando Pirates went for his signature and he joined Orlando Pirates in 2015. For Orlando Pirates, he made 48 appearances and during that time scored 25 goals. During the 2017 and 18 season, he made appearances for three clubs. He played for Orlando Pirates. He also made four appearances for Al Faisi FC, which is a Saudi Arabian football club. And he also made seven appearances for Ajax Cape Town and scored one goal during that time. So for a football player to play for three clubs is actually a breach of FIFA regulations. And as a result, Ajax Cape Town had to forfeit some games that he had appeared in, resulting in Ajax Cape Town being relegated from the South African Premier Soccer league all the way to the NFD. In essence, Tandai Ndoro is the reason why Ajax Cape Town was relegated. Not cool at all. With regards to his national career, he has made 14 appearances for Zimbabwe scoring 4 goals and this is all between 2013 till present. So what happened to Tandai Ndoro? So like I mentioned, he did breach FIFA regulations when he appeared in three teams in one season. And obviously he was involved in the court case between IS Cape Town and the PSL. IS Cape Town eventually lost and got relegated. And after that court case concluded, he was involved in yet another court case. He was arrested for allegedly assaulting his wife Tando Masego. And the root of that story is very deep and complicated. I'll just skim over it. It had to do with a fake marriage certificate. Ndoro said all these things are caused by a fake marriage marriage certificate in my marriage. The marriage certificate which was on a Sowetan Life article shows that the couple got married on the 20th of September 2017 although their actual wedding day was in December. With regards to Tandai spending two nights in jail he said that I heard that the police were looking for me so I went to the police station and they told me that I was sought for hitting my wife. According to the article, Masego says that he is lying to you. The marriage certificate is not fake. He was not around at the time he made me do it. The reason he made me do it is because he wanted me to help his daughter get a South African birth certificate. I'm going to ask you guys to indulge me for a little while. I've never really signed for a marriage certificate, so I don't know how it actually works. But don't both parties have to sign the marriage certificate and the witness has to be around? But hey, that is just my two cents on the matter. Moving right along, after the IX Cape Town Fiesta, concluded he was left without a team On the 26th of September, Tandai Ndoro signed for Highlands Park FC, which is a team that's currently in the National First Division. In conclusion, Tandai Pashindoro is currently 33 years old and quite possibly has a couple of more professional footballing years ahead of him. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.